The early to mid 20th century saw the most dramatic changes in aircraft technology in almost 20 years. Aircraft innovation was rapidly developing for the United States Air Force since the end of World War I. Many experiments on groundbreaking aircraft were made, but this video will only cover the main innovations and designs that were significant in the Army Division of the Air Force. Before the legends of World War II would take to the skies, the P-26 P-Shooter was the active service. Developed by the Boeing Air Corporation, this is the first true monoplane introduced into the U.S. fighter line. The P-26 features an open cockpit, a monocular sight, two nose-mounted machine guns, and a 200-pound bomb payload. It's an all-metal fighter with metal wiring connecting the wings and fixed landing gears to the fuselage. Without the use of rigid struts, this plane was lighter and faster than any other previous plane in the U.S. fighter line. Powered by a 600 horsepower Pratt & Whitney Wasp engine, its top speed was 234 miles per hour. 27 miles per hour faster than most other standard biplanes in the era. It would not see combat but remain in active service as a trainer aircraft in flight schools across the United States. In the early 1930s, Engine innovations such as forged aluminum pistons and nitrous cylinder barrels now push engines at the 1,000 horsepower mark. This is the Curtis P-36 Hawk, another all-metal fighter. The Hawk had many new features, a 90-degree swivel landing gear, a closed cockpit, and a gyroscopic sight. Armed with two nose-mounted machine guns, later models of the Hawk would eventually carry up to a total of six 7.62mm or 12.7mm caliber machine guns mounted along the nose and wings of the plane. Though inferior to aircraft such as the Metroschmitt BF-109 in technology, the Hawk would be a successful export fighter, exported to nations such as France, Norway, and Finland. During the day that would live in infamy, the attack on Pearl Harbor, five P-36 Hawks managed to take off and fail two Japanese A-6 and 2 Zeros during the attack. But the most famous pilots who would use this plane would not come from the United States, but from Finland, a country allied with Nazi Germany. Improving upon the design of the P-36 is the Curtis P-40, which become one of the first iconic U.S. Army fighters. The most notable change was the aircraft design in the engine. The P-40E was powered by an Allison V710-39 engine, which produced around 1,200 horsepower, giving the plane a top speed of 340 miles per hour. Armed with six 12.7mm Browning machine guns, it was better armed than its predecessor. The P-40s would see active service in the Pacific, North Africa, and the Mediterranean theater during the war. In the Pacific, a group of U.S. Army pilots called the American Volunteer Group, better known as the Flying Tigers, will earn the P-40 its reputation. Fighting against Ki-43 Oscars and A6M20, the Flying Tiger will earn over 19 aces. The P-40 will help secure air supremacy in Southeast Asia. This is the Republic P-47 Thunderbolt, also nicknamed the Jug or Juggernaut. Powered by a Pratt & Whitney R2800 double wasp engine with a supercharger, it gave about 2,535 horsepower, making the plane achieve a maximum speed of 432 miles per hour. In combination with the plane's elliptical wings and its supercharger, it was able to perform well at high altitude. The early models of the P-47 had one main flaw, rear visibility. Later models replaced this cockpit with the British teardrop canopy greatly improving visibility. Referred to as a stubborn fighter, the P-47 was incredibly hard to shoot down. As an escort fighter, its main flaw was the short range to cover the long-range bombers that went into the heart of Europe, like the B-17. Outfitted with bombs and rockets, this plane became one of the most suitable ground attackers for the U.S. Army. Considered the greatest United States fighter during World War II, the P-51 Mustang is a legendary fighter. The first models of the P-51 were exported to the British as support fighters. They were powered initially by the Allison line engines. Placed to the side, it was later modified to perform better. Soon, the Rolls-Royce Merlin engine was added, the same engine that is used on the British Spitfires. The pre-existing laminar flow wings with a new engine 
now made a new long range fighter. The T-51 now achieved speeds of 437 miles per hour. Later models of the Mustang would introduce the teardrop canopy, the same canopy that we see on the T-47. The cockpit also saw the introduction of the new gyroscopic J-14 sight. This new gun sight allowed for minimal aiming of the target, as the gun sight already calculated the distance and the placement of the pipper for the target. Acting as an escort fighter, casualties of bomber crews decreased as the P-51 valiantly did its job. The P-51 would engage late model BF-109s and Fokker Wolf 190s, but it will also engage the first operational jet fighter, the ME-262. The Bell P-39 Aero Cobra was an innovative aircraft for its time. The P-39 featured a rear-mounted engine and had a tricycle landing gear system. Outfitted with an M4 37mm cannon that fitted through the propeller hub and up to four machine guns, this was a very well-armed fighter. Powered by a new Allison B 1710-85 liquid-cooled engine, it supplied around 1,200 horsepower giving a top speed of 376 miles per hour. Developing from the airframe of the P-39 and fixing issues like flat spinning, the P-63 King Cobra was a better version of the Cobra. Powered by a new Allison V-710-93 engine with a four-blade propeller giving a top speed of 408 miles per hour, it retained the characteristics of the P-39 models. Both Cobras would be exported extensively to the Soviet Union, where it would become a successful fighter and ground attacker. After World War II, aircraft development would jump again, this time into the jet era. The Lockheed P-80 Shooting Star was the first successful American jet fighter. The Allison J-33 engine produced 5,400 pounds of thrust, giving the P-80 its amazing speed a top speed of 580 miles per hour. This plane will lay the basis for all jet fighters produced by the United States. Late models of the P-80 will be designated as the F-80 shooting star. After World War II, United States aircraft designers would adopt captured German jet designs from the ME-262. The swept wing design of the ME-262 was incorporated into the F-86 Sabre. At the peak of aircraft innovation, the F-86 introduced several new features. The main improvements were on the aircraft's electronic systems. The smart sight from the P-51 has now become an infrared tracking sight that tracks the heat signature of any jet. The General Electric J-4713 turbojet engine produces about 5,200 pounds of thrust. It has a top speed of 685 miles per hour. This plane would fight in Korea against Russian MiG-15s. The F-86 would eventually become the top fighter in the early stages of the Cold War. <laughs>